I may be totally alone in this, but I doubt it. Um, this is for the single ladies out there. I just want you to know, if you believe in Jesus and you're following him um, to the best of your ability, it is okay to pray for your future husband if you feel that you will have one. Um, even if you don't feel like you will have one, sometimes it's good to open your hearts to the possibilities of what God might have for you. I went through a long period of, um, actually it was kind of a suddenly, but um, during a tent revival of God doing some things. And it, and one night he showed me that you're not done like you think you are. And um, it stirred a lot of things in me that I wasn't ready for. And a lot of time has passed since then. I've made mistakes since then. I've come back to God in many ways since then. I've grown in many ways since then. But I, I also went backward again like I don't want that I'm fine I'm fine like I am I don't need help I don't need companionship I don't need um a man but recently several things have happened that have opened my eyes to possibilities that maybe I don't know best and maybe God truly does and God knows me better than I know myself. Just know that, um, be careful what you say you do or don't want because there's power in your words. And God's a gentleman. He does, um, he's not going to push anything on us, but his plan is better than our plan. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are way above our ways. So please leave yourself open to possibilities because you just don't know what your future is. You can try shutting down uh, on stuff and on ideas, but is that really what's best for you? If God has a bigger, greater plan, um, let's follow his leading. Let's be open-minded to whatever it is, his call on your life, because it's amazing and great and wonderful. And um, let's let him be our leader. Um, we don't need to be making all of our own decisions Um we need to follow his guidance each and every day. He just, he just truly know best.